to smile through all the pain. Losing someone that you love so deeply, there's a hole, it leaves a hole in your heart. That hole never goes away. You just get used to it being there. But there, in the midst of grief, this mother's heart made room for something more. I call it the little fundraiser that could, because that's how I feel about us. Um, I don't have a big platform. I'm, I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> we don't have millions of dollars. But what Susan Udelhofen has is her story about a deadly leukemia that came on suddenly and took her daughter Katie at 32. I still look at her and I cry, not as much. Because she sees a lot of Katie in her granddaughter, four-year-old Gracie. It's a very bittersweet joy. I watch her growing up without, without her mom. A mom who would likely still be here if the breakthroughs came sooner. In fact, they told me that if Katie would be diagnosed now, her treatment plan would be very different. And if this bone marrow protocol is successful, she probably would live. It's why Susan's foundation, We Believe in Katie, is working with UW Health and the Carbone Cancer Center to find and fund cures for the cancerous and this year the non-cancerous forms that behave similarly to Katie's own bone marrow disease. Now we are able to do this a lot better and a lot safer and they're becoming a really exciting new field in the field of bone marrow transplantation. UW Health Pediatric Cancer and Bone Marrow Specialist Dr. Inga Hoffman says until now, it was risky to transplant a family member's bone marrow. But this year, UW Health's Advanced Clinical Cellular Lab hopes to change all that. That we will be able to select the cells that are um, good for the patient, that the patient needs, uh, those that recover the bone marrow back to a healthy state, but trying to leave out the the, the bad guys that basically the immune system that can cause a lot of side effects from that transplantation. All right, is your name Dominic Van Summeren? Yeah. And is your birth date June 25th? Yeah. Perfect. What's perfect is what Susan's organization is doing with Make-A-Wish. And this year we have Dominic. The three-year-old has the same kind of cancer as Katie. Katie had acute lymphocytic lymph leukemia, which is very common in children and highly curable, not so much in adults. Dom is doing so great with his remission. He's now on maintenance treatments. We get to kind of check this one off the box and hopefully they keep getting easier and that's the plan is that they, you know, life becomes more manageable. Because as Dom grows stronger, Life will soon hold a special once-in-a-lifetime trip to Disney, all to make one daughter proud. I know that you've been going through a lot. You've been very, yeah. very brave. I can't explain it to you, except I believe so strongly in my heart that this, this is right. This is the right place to be, and this is honoring Katie's memory and paying it forward. In Madison, Katherine Larson, Spectrum News.